Hello everyone, my name is Pythagore and welcome back for another episode of Scar World Season 3. If you remember last episode, I mentioned that I was working on a custom build for this week and we will get into this shortly. But before this, we need to finish our base. Why now? Why so suddenly? Pray tell us, Pythagore. Hmm. Of course, I will tell you. But first, let me show you something. And here we are, this place is called Dagon Alley. And look how gorgeous it is, look how those candles floating around create such a magical atmosphere. But this is not just one street full of shops, no 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 my friend. This is an entire network of back alleys with their small shop everywhere and the signs overhanging around those narrow streets. Uh, you can find pretty much everything here. It's really amazing how, how the diversity of all of those build together gives such a rich identity to this place. And look at those Desita ropes, Dumbledore ropes. <laughs> oh, this is, this is excellent. That is huge. Oh, oh, oh my God. What, what is this? some kind of castle or cathedral? No, please don't touch. Yeah, sure, I just want to visit. Oh, this is amazing, oh, I got. Yes, so the thing is, I found that place by chance. Love it, beautiful. Uh, I want to be part of it, but that's not for now. Because the problem is... <laughs> Let me show you the problem now. And then <laughs> we have this. Yes, uh, that's our base. Uh, I had a clear vision in my mind, but when I started to build it, it just didn't unfold as I thought it would. Uh, so I've been struggling a bit with this, but I think I've found something that suits me. And after having seen diagonally and some other starter base on the way back, I just feel motivated to finish that base properly. So let's stop talking and let's get building. And here's a new outline. I want to flatten a bit the roof and have three parts. One for the outdoor balcony, one for the main room and one starting with the corner. And ideally the three sections will have different height to create some perspective from afar. <laughs> Okay. Mm. Yeah, I'm not sure. It looks definitely better with the the lower line of the roof. Um, but it looks a bit sprucey, a bit dark, almost gloomy. So let's see how we can uh, brighten this. And I think I should stick to the main concept of this base which is associating birch with darker wood. So let's add a bit of birch to outline uh, this. And now we check. I hope it's just going, you know, just to outline the spruce line. But, oof, wait. Let me find a good spot. Yeah, here. Yeah. Should be far enough. Okay. Yeah, no. That's not going to work. Okay, so now the, the three roof line is not going to work. As well as the birch under the spruce. Just too, too bulky. It's not working at all for me. But it gave me it gave me some inspiration. I will I will be checking some image quickly. Uh, I have a feeling that going back to something a bit more simple like Tudor style or French Alsacian houses may work well. Yeah, we have too much textures and too much colors now. It's getting messy. <laughs> Okay, so I have reworked the roof. Now let's see. I like the purple wool. 
I think that color goes very well with the dark tones of the main structure, dark oak and spruce bark. And the birch outline is just enough to complement the wall structure of spruce and oak and make it stand out. Um, I think it's just the right amount. So this works well from this side. And let's see it from the other side. Oh yeah, okay, once it's closed, it's going to be very nice. Uh, I don't have the space for the window I wanted to create, so I think it will be just two or three blocks of glass. That's fine. And this part actually will be a balcony of sort. I will decorate it uh, and I will use it as a, a light rail runaway to fly in and out. Because I will use the third floor as a bedroom and small storage uh, units for all the things you need to get when you fly in and out. It will be nice. It will be very nice. Now the things that bother me, yes, I'm up close. So, okay, I don't like the windows either. The, the, should I go with dark oak and have it all dark, but then I'm a bit worried that it will get even darker. See what I mean? That's why I want to introduce more colors. Small amount of color, but really eye catchy, like the purple. Yes. But okay, our thing. The thing is from up close, and actually I believe from far. Uh, let's let's check the building from where it's going to be seen first when you enter the the town. It's not it's not that bad. Um, the purple really stands out, and I think I would like to see it a bit from the front. It's I think it's really a nice outline and complement the building very well. So I don't know how to do it. Maybe have the roof a bit inclined, either extend it a bit. Yeah, but I will have the same issues because it will be hidden by even more wood and calcite. Or lower down from one or two blocks this curve and have the roof inclined. So we will see a small outline of purple when facing the building. Now, the other things are from, from far away. From far away, this part is hard to read. It's hard to read, but I'm not sure what I can do about it. I have to finish a small garden over there. Uh, yes, but otherwise, I'm pretty happy with the final design of the roof. Just a few minor fine tuning here and there. Oh, it's so good. Let's see from here. Ah, there are the bamboos, but it's okay, I get, uh, we get an idea. Yeah, maybe if that one just inclined by the few blocks. How can I do this? Wait. Oh! Wait, what? Why is there a portal here? Aha! Thank you for doing my job. Hello. And die. Oh la la, oh la 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 Hmm. Would you please kill yourself? Yes, yes. Excellent. So that's where all the love were. Hmm. I wish I had a bucket of lava right now. But well. Early? Wait. Guys. Do you know how to end? Yes, that's better. I wish I had popcorn right now. Yum, 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 yum. I do have something. Yum, 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 yum. Mm. It's like the Olympics, you know, archery. 
<laughs> go skeleton teams, go! Uh, which team are we? Okay, glowing bow team. Go, go, glowing bow team! I feel a bit ignored right now. Whoa, took you long enough. Hey, I cheered for you and that's how you thank me? Stupid, I don't want to get... Wow, no, 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 wrong way, wrong way, <laughs> go back. I don't want to die, my inventory is full. Uh, I have to kill them. Or I'll just let them despawn? Maybe. Just that. Ooh, you killed it? I do want the copper though, so okay, let's finish this. <laughs> you can't escape me. Good. <gasps> oh yes, the skeleton killed it! Oh my god, oh my god. Um <laughs> anything useless? <laughs> Cobblestone slab. Ooh. Ooh. Okay, no, I really don't want to die. Let's get this copper and we go back. That's dangerous, Pythagoras. Not too big, really. Ooh, I saw Ed. Yeah. Hello. Goodbye. Sweet mother jelly. How many people are there? Okay, I have had enough. Goodbye. You know, it kind of sounds like the gong used during yoga meditation sessions. Focus on your breath, in and out. In and out. Okay, that's another relaxation. Let's go back to building. to have a proper base finally. Doesn't it look beautiful? I love it. So there's still a bit of work here and there. Uh, I still have to finish the Elytra runway and some other minor thing. But overall, the outer part is done. Front and back. No part in the back. All business here. <laughs> Kidding, it's all party here. Ah, uh, yes, love it, beautiful. Hmm. And now, on to the main build plan for this week. Okay, this one will stay, that's the referent, the starting point. Everything else has to go. Okay. Pause. 
Something, something not right. Is this too small? How did I do this? No, there should be one block in the middle. Oh shoot. I have... Oh no! <sighs> okay, let me just extend the circle by one block. One, one. Slap, slap, slap. <laughs> no, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine. Nothing is uh, is wrong, but which side am I going to build that thing? There, there is a front side of the building, and I haven't decided yet uh, which side I want it. So obviously, either that way, if I finish my village, it's going to be over there, or that way facing uh candle keep is not too far it's growing a bit in that direction toward us hmm. i think should be facing here so when you enter uh maybe i should have moved it a couple of blocks there but if it's there you start to see this and you say oh what is this and you walk around it and then you're like, wow, what a, what a beautiful in Pythagore. Mm -hmm. Yeah, let's keep going with this. bit more high and then this is on the floor with the dirt being worked by the farmer so there's humidity and dirt so it should be a bit dark and a bit a bit dark and with plants growing on it Destroyed slowly over time. Bit of this. So, bam, bam. Um, and like that. Wind. Wind, wind, carries dirt and seeds. Yes, they do. It's a windmill in the field, so there could be. Uh, and there, there could be. Oh no, that's not working. Bit of dirt. And some flower, some seed will be carried by bees. And where is my grass block? Okay, we got dirty and some flower actually grows there. Hmm. Good work. Let's see. Let's test it. So that works. Bam, bam, bam. Nice. It's very green. It could call for. Yeah. 
so now that one will be a bit Yes, 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 yes. One corner done. Okay, so you are here. Can you see the composter? You can see the composter. This is yours. That's yours. You can work with this. Your friend has his own. So you are together. Don't look at me. You are supposed to be angry. Angry. Yes, you guys are watching one another. Perfect. So you are making eye contact. Ooh, they are making eye contact. <laughs> no, they have to make eye contact for sharing food. Well, actually, it's almost a date. Hey, I think you are pretty high. Want to eat some carrot with me? Oh, okay. And then, what's up and then? Well, no one knows. Are you guys in shine food? Yes, 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 yes. Farmer fully developed, fully zombified. The build is complete. I just need to grow more villagers. This is perfect. And that's all I had the time to do for this week. I had a lot of fun working on a custom build and on this episode which came with new challenge because I'm not used to talk to myself for hours when playing Minecraft. Uh, but it was fun and I'm getting there. Um, yeah, so I hope you enjoyed it and if you did please leave a like or comment below. Tell me what you think about my builds and what you would like to see in the future. I will see you next week, until then stay safe, Peter calls out.